this afternoon at 5. The true patriot, Mark Levin. Now, the morning news with Hal J and Brian Estridge. On News Talk 820. WBAP. WBAP WBAP.com. A couple of stories that are trending out there, Hal, that we need to get into. It starts today. What? What is it? Today down in Austin, Mm -hmm. police will no longer respond to non-emergencies. Police, no, in other words, I'm going to be a little bit facetious here. Are you talking about like no more cats in the tree calls and, <laughs> That's a good question. and uh, double well, I, parked? There's a guy it, parked in the MySpace call. No, it's stuff like theft. Wow. I would think some theft would be an emergency. You know, if, there, if there's some drugs missing. But if he's gone, pharmacy, they say that's no longer an emergency, remember? Do what? They say if the guy's gone, it's no longer an emergency. I wonder hmm. if they considered hiring more cops. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, no, that might be the problem here. <laughs> we don't have enough for what we got going on. They're yeah. urging you to call 311 instead of 911 to report non emergencies. That starts today. So remember that, how 311. Uh, information, um, yes, just passing along. There are three people dead in the street in front of me. Yep. But they're dead. Don't have to worry about it. Right. No, but the guy's no, gone, so no rush. Yeah, no rush. <laughs> no no need to get here. Finish your we, lunch. Yeah, I remember <laughs> we did this story, and Stubby pointed out, hey, isn't there a TV show out there called uh, The First 48 on uh, how important it is to solve crimes? I think there is, yes. Yeah. But apparently Austin didn't hasn't seen it. Maybe it doesn't go, Maybe it's not on down there. I guess not. Yeah. I mean, how do they not know this? They have a somewhat similar show. It's called The Seven-Year Itch. Yeah, right. Yeah, no joke. Have we solved this yet? <laughs> Please. Uh, the uh, So that's going on in Austin. How there's, there's a guy out there betting. In fact, I ran into an oil and gas guy last night at Gary Patterson's radio show, and we were okay. talking. And I, yep. and I told him this headline that we had for tomorrow, for what was going to be tomorrow. I told him last mm-hmm. night that there are folks out there betting that oil is going to go to $200 a barrel. Why? I mean, what what insight is that? Well, two hundred dollars a barrel. Things that it's another that's that's COVID in a can. Things <laughs> shut down. These are option traders that are betting that an energy crunch this winter will see higher prices. Two hundred dollars a barrel. I just can't buy. I'm, if only there were this big pipeline coming from the north that we yes. could tap into. What could that do? Yeah. yeah. If only. If only. <laughs> it's okay for Russia to have one, but but not yeah, right. Us. <laughs> but not us. Five forty one at WBAP traffic on the ones, and then coming up here at five forty five. I wonder if Hal does or Sean doesn't have this, which proved that he had COVID. Even this what in the world did you just say? Yeah, they just discovered <laughs> I, I know I messed it up. <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> Nailed it. I, I, yeah. Here, shall I give you the tease again? I, like I think Sean, <laughs> Sean has this. It may prove that he has COVID. Okay. Perfect. We'll talk about it coming up at 545 or so. Here's <laughs> Freeway shot down in both directions. I-30 east and westbound closed at 635 in Mesquite for the wreck there. Both sides are overloaded. Not even a great alternate route except for to swing down to Highway 80 if you're passing through. But I would avoid that interchange for sure. I-30 westbound ramp to go northbound I-35E. Left lane of that ramp still blocked off. That slow through the canyon. The only good news now is that the uh, freeway shutdown we had on 635 westbound around Josie cleared out. So that's starting to loosen up. But now at a wreck on I-35E northbound at 635. That's taken away two right lanes 183 westbound at esters the roadway now uh, completely shut down for that wreck and we do have one in trophy club on 114 eastbound around kirkwood boulevard with wbap first traffic on the ones i'm monty cook brought to you by cumulus media the delta variant is here do your part get a vaccine today it's safe effective and our best chance at getting things back to normal vaccines are available at your neighborhood pharmacy or see vaccine locations at our website at wbap.com 
Brad Barton of the WBAP Weather Center. We've had some rain overnight. Most of it's in uh, central Texas right now, and I think a lot of it's going to stay there today. We'll have some widely scattered showers and storms, but the heavy rain will be south of us for a while. High today, 82, low tonight, 71. I think rain will be picking up tonight. The upper-level storm system in New Mexico is not going away, and we're expecting some pretty good rains tomorrow with a high of 82 and a low near 70. After that, the storm system moves on into the uh, eastern half of the country. We're going to be sunny, breezy, and mild uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Right now at WBAP, 70 degrees.